Hi everyone, I hope all of you are having a wonderful time. Once again, welcome back to AP Science Virtual Class. And this is Jendrox Educator TV, your host for today. For today's video, you are going to learn about the human nervous system. So what part or a common part of the human body which relates the word nervous system? Basically, one of the most important part when we talk about nervous system is what we call our human brain, right? Now, let's talk about how does the nervous system work? Just remember guys that our nervous system connects the messages from your brain to your body so you can do things like walk, talk, think, feel, and breath. So those are the major functions how does our nervous system works. And that nervous system is the information highway that controls everything that you are going to do. And aside from that, our nervous system helps detect changes from inside the body and outside the environment and generate responses to the changes. So it is used to control the function of other organs in our body too. The human nervous system is made up of two main components, namely the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Again, what are the types of the human nervous system? These are what? We have central nervous system that is made up of brain and the spinal cord, while the peripheral nervous system is made up of nerves that branch off from the spinal cord going to extend all parts of the body. As we all know that the central nervous system consists of two parts, the brain and the spinal cord. So what is the main function of the brain? The brain is encased in the bony skull which protects it from injuries. It consists of the cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata, thalamus and hypothalamus. And what about the cerebrum? Our cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It is the center for thinking, reasoning, speech, and memory. It also initiates and controls all voluntary actions like walking, writing, and jumping. How about the cerebellum. What is that for? The main function of the cerebellum is located below the cerebrum near the top of the spinal cord. It coordinates body movements and maintains the body balance. That is why we were able to walk properly or run properly. Right? When we go to hiking, mountain climbing, or wherever, when we do a jogging or any strenuous exercises. Another part of the brain is what we call medulla oblongata. What is that for? That controls and coordinates all voluntary actions such as digestion, respiration, and the beating of our heart. This time, we are going to focus about the important parts or accessories of the human brain, alright? So what are they? Our human brain composed of different parts. These are thalamus, hypothalamus, medulla oblongata, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and the spinal cord. All those parts are very important because it helps how the human brain or our brain performs very well. What do you mean by the word hypothalamus? What is the main function for our human brain? The hypothalamus plays an important role in homeostasis regulation. It controls the body temperature, 
osmoregulation, sexual function, thirst, hunger, emotional activity, and our sleep. If we have hypothalamus, we also have thalamus. So what is that for? Thalamus is responsible for the incoming and outgoing information in our brain. All right? So we were able to understand, we were able to comprehend what are those incoming or outgoing messages coming from our brain. Another important part of the human brain is what we call the spinal cord, right? So, what is the main function of our spinal cord? It is continuous with the brain and emerges from the opening at the base of our skull. The spinal cord is protected by our spinal column, right? So, at the back portion of the human skull. Those important parts of the human brain that I have been mentioned plays a very vital role, very significant role in order how brains functions properly, how we coordinate those nerve cells and to think properly. How are we going to feel and we were able to understand things around us. So there are responses or a common feelings that we might feel within our surroundings. What do you think? How is brain important to us? Remember guys, our brain is absolutely, definitely the most important organ in the human body, right? It is used to control and coordinate actions and reactions and even allows us to think and feel and enables us to have memories and feelings all things that make us human how does the brain help us how does the brain work the human brain works like a big computer it processes information that it receives from the senses of the human body and sends messages back to the body using brain tissues which is made up about 100 billion nerve cells which is what we call neurons in other words and 1 trillion supporting cells which stabilize the tissues now we will talk about the peripheral nervous system so what are the major functions of the peripheral nervous system there are two important parts of the peripheral nervous system or PNS these are the spinal nerves and the cranial nerves now what is the main function of the spinal nerves the spinal nerves emerge at intervals along the spinal cord that cranial nerves emerge from the brain the main function of the peripheral nervous system or PNS it is used to divide the nervous system containing all the nerves that lie outside of the central nervous system or CNS. The primary role of the PNS is to connect the CNS or the central nervous system to the organs, our limbs, and our skin. What does the peripheral nervous system do? The main function of the peripheral nervous system is to connect the CNS to the limbs and organs, essentially serving as a relay between the brain and our spinal cord and the rest of the body. Now, what are the parts of the peripheral nervous system? There are three important parts. These are the autonomic nervous system, which is divided into three parts the sympathetic parts of the nervous system the parasympathetic nervous system and the enteric nervous system the autonomic nervous system controls small muscles and the viscera internal organs and your glands what are the types of the peripheral nerves right so these are 
sensory nerves, and autonomic nerves. What is the function of sensory nerves? It is used to connect the brain and the spinal cord to your skin and allow you to feel pain and other sensations. On the other hand, the autonomic nerves controls involuntary function like blood pressure, digestion, and heart rate. This time, we will talk about the important function of neuron. The human nervous system is made up of the nerve cells, which is commonly known as neurons. A neuron transmits information in the form of electrical impulse. Each neuron consists of a cell body, contains a nucleus and fine cytoplasmic extensions called dendrites. Here are the structure of a typical neuron. These are axon, dendron, dendrites, myelin sheath, node of Ranvier. So, what are those functions? In axon, the long fiber that conducts impulses away from the cell body. While dendron, it is a short fiber that conducts impulses towards the cell body. What about dendrites? The terminal branches found at the end of the axon and dendrons which receive or transmit impulses. While the myelin sheath, it is the layer of fatty substances surrounding the axon or dendrons that serves as insulating layer. While the last one which is the nodes of Ranvier, the intervals along the axon without myelin sheath that helps to speed up the transmission of impulses. Okay, so those are the important functions of different parts of a neuron. Let us remember guys that there are three types of neurons, namely sensory neuron, interneuron, and motor neuron. Here are some important types of illustration about different types of neurons. What are the common comparison between sensory, interneuron, and a motor neuron? We will stick right away about the function. Our sensory neuron used to transmit nerve impulses from the receptors to the central nervous system. What about interneuron? The interneuron used to relay impulses from the sensory neuron to motor neurons. On the other hand, the motor neuron used to transmit nerve impulses from the central nervous system to the effectors. To clarify those things, these are the most important function of a sensory neurons. It is used to carry signals from the outer parts of your body or the periphery into the central nervous system. In a motor neurons or motoneurons carry signals from the central nervous system to the outer parts of your muscles, your skin, your glands, of your body, while the interneurons connect various neurons within the brain and to your spinal cord. So that's the way how are we going to understand the important work of the different types of neuron. Alright guys, this is the end of our topic for today about the different parts and functions of the human nervous system. I hope you learned something from this. I hope you were able to take down notes about those important points with regards to different parts of the human nervous system. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. Please don't forget to answer your quizzes and assignment there at the Google Classroom in the AP website. Good luck! I hope you were having a wonderful time learning at home. Stay home, stay safe. Enjoy learning. See you in our next video.